Hi guys, welcome to this Primark haul. So today I'm going to be showing you the stuff that I got from Primark. Uh, I picked up a mixture of bits, I picked up a few accessories and then mainly clothes. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you what I got. Haven't been in obviously, well, I probably haven't been since like January, so long long time and obviously we've had lockdown in between which has been long so i was excited to go really nervous though because of the queues that i'd seen like pictures of in the press but actually it was all right it was not too busy like they were it was it was all right it wasn't too crazy so i coped so i'm going to start with the accessories first the first thing i got was this headband uh i couldn't wait i've already put it in um yeah it's a really cute color it's like floral it's a nudie satin um, material and then it's like floral um a pattern on it which i thought was really cute and i love a headband so i picked this one up and then i also picked another headband up this one and it's just like a plain black satiny um headband i've got quite a few like black and nude headbands i know but i feel like even like a slightly different one looks really different to me and I really like them and both of these were £2 which I thought was really good well £2 each but um yeah so that is the little black satin headband the next accessory that I got were these and they're just some little gold um stud earrings um they're so in fashion at the moment, like this sort of style. I've got a couple of like similar-ish um, style ones, but like slightly different. These are slightly smaller than my other ones. I thought they were really cute and they would go with loads and they're very on trend at the moment. So I picked up those for £2. The next thing I got was this belt. So this, I really like this sort of pattern at the moment. So like the chain style, I've got it in like a couple of hair accessories. Um, and like like jewellery and that, like the thick chain sort of thing and I've got like a chainy sort of style here and I'm bags and that so I saw this belt and I thought oh that'll be really nice I'll pick that up but I don't like this like excess chains I think it's a bit much um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take them off um, because I just think it's a bit much so <laughs> I'm tangled but so it'll just be like that and then it's just like this that croc leather um, material on the strap, which I think is really nice. So another accessory I picked up was this bag, and it is just a little Perspex nude bag. Only criticism I would say is the strap was way too long. So the strap is like... It depends how you like your strap, but... I find it too long for me. The strap is like this long, <laughs> like these. I found this chain to be too long. So what I'm gonna do, um, instead of this, I just folded it over underneath the lid, underneath the lid, underneath the, um, what do you call that, the top of the bag, the opening, whatever you call it. I've crossed it over inside, then I've crossed it over on top and just popped it inside the lid again. And I've got an itty bitty strap. Ooh, and lots of chain. The last accessory I got was this little scarf. I just thought this was really cute. It's really like, it's shock, it's actually got a chain pattern on it. Um, but yeah, it's like a satiny material and it's got like this chain pattern on it and it's like a black with white, red and gold, like a white burgundy and gold and I just thought it was quite a, like a nice um, pattern on it. So I thought it would be nice for like, you can use it for like a headscarf, it's got a few pictures on it. It's got, um, it's got a neck scarf, you can wear it as a top, um, you can also wear it as a headband and you can have it a little tie on your handbag which I thought was really cute. So I'm going to jump onto the clothes, um, the outfits. The first thing I bought was this. And it is just a simple um, black body and it is a ribbed, a ribbed sort of material. Just 
like that. Um, and it has like these spaghetti hoops or strap things. And then like a low back and like a high neck. So I have styled this top with the chain belt that I picked up and also with a pair of leather shorts while it's like leather skirt type thing um, and some high black boots. The high waisted top goes really nicely with the leather shorts I think. The chain belt is like a nice centre piece and if it was slightly cooler in temperature and I was going out I'd probably put um, my oversized denim jacket with it, just like a light wash denim jacket just to sort of sit on my shoulders um, that I could wear like in the evening or if it was cooler. But next I got another black body, shock. Um, yes, it's like this. Um, it's got these lovely like netted puff sleeves, like meshy ones. And yeah, it's just like a fitted body. I picked this up because I thought it would be quite nice. So it's actually kind of meant to be like this, but you could also wear it off shoulder, which I thought would look um, really nice so that's why I picked it up um, yeah it was £8 which is super good I have styled this with my dark denim skirt and my black River Island chain belt um, and also my high boots as well as, as this headband that I'm wearing now okay so the next thing I picked up was this little bit different this it's just like a little play suit a little striped one um i love how um light the material is so we're having a bit of heat wave this week so i thought it would be a good thing just to wear sort of in the garden in the sun etc you could also dress it up in the evenings um with a sort of like a black crop top underneath that is the look that i've gone for here so i've just put a black crop top underneath it um and i've also just put my high back boots on and my black headband so i thought that would look nice together and just make it a little bit more goey outy rather than just a garden outfit i've somehow deleted the footage of speaking about this dress but this is the next thing that i got it's just this denim dress um the zip is actually meant to be at the back but i preferred it this way so i'm actually wearing it back to front but yeah i prefer the zip detail at the front i have styled the denim dress with um the headband that i'm wearing now and just with my new little nude bag and i've just shortened the strap as i explained um and just popped it on my shoulder so it's a little bit shorter but obviously you could wear it however um but yeah i really like this outfit i really have wanted to do a denim dress for a while so i was very pleased when i saw this one and for 17 pound an absolute bargain next thing i picked up was a little bit different for me anyway um, I really loved the pattern, which is kind of why I picked it up. I also like the style of dress. It's like a smock sort dress is like the best way I could describe it. So it's like this. And it's got like a sort of flary like loose um, bottom. So it just starts like that at the top. Like so. And then as it goes down, it just comes out like that. Um, but yeah, I really loved the pattern of this. I love the nude and black together. Um, and I think it's like borderline, it's like a mix between, it's got like a slight bit of like leopard print in it and a slight bit of like zebra print in it, which I thought was quite nice. Um, but yeah, I have styled this with my high boots again and with um, a little, it's sort of like a denim corduroy um, jacket like sort of thing well a shirt I should say so that is from a pretty little thing the next thing I got was this and it's just this little nude body it's exactly like the black ribbed one it's high neck um, and it's the ribbed effect as you can see there and then it's got the spaghetti straps again and it's just this really lovely pinky nude um color um so i have styled this with my little denim skirt from i think that's from top shop but they actually in primark they had loads of denim skirts i just didn't get another one because i've got too many at the moment i couldn't justify getting another denim skirt but they had loads in there um that were very, like pretty much identical 
So I've just styled it with that and my little black chain belt from River Island. And then also with my nude bag and this little headband that I've got in now and high boots again. So yeah, I thought this was, this is probably my favorite outfit actually. So yeah, that one gets a big tick from me. Favorite outfit I will be wearing, probably one of the first outfits I'll be wearing after lockdown. So can't wait. Okay, so the last thing I bought was Shark Another Black Body. Woo! I bought three black bodies, all very different in my opinion, but a lot of people would probably disagree. One of them being my boyfriend, who was like, what the actual fuck? You've bought three of the same top. But we all know they are very different. This is a, like a low neck one, so it's not a high neck one, and obviously it's sleeveless, and it has this nice little cup detail, that's mainly why I got it. I really like it when a top has a cup detail on it, like a bodicey sort of corset sort of detail. I just think it's really flattering, and just a really nice touch to a simple top. I have styled it with my black leather skirt, and my nude chain belt from River Island, and also with this nude headband because, yeah, I think they go nicely. <laughs> so that concludes today's video. That is everything I bought on this Primark haul. Um, yeah, I feel like I did quite well to be fair. I don't always do the best in Primark so I was pleased I saw quite a lot of stuff I think my next video is going to be a Primark home well maybe not my next one but maybe the one after that is going to be a Primark home video because they had some really nice bits that I wanted to pick up but I thought no your bank balance does not allow it you have not been paid wait until you've been paid so then I'm going to go do a Primark haul video Primark haul video that's what I'm doing now a Primark home video yeah, but they had some really good stuff in that. The only thing I would say is quite a lot of things were out in my size, which was a bit irritating, but yeah, what can you do? So yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, just drop them out below. Um, but please subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy and like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.